Hey guys, this is Chris from DSX Machina, and we are talking about Naramata, a game of wine and tourism. This is a this is the first full official board game developed by DSX Machina, based off of the Naramata wine region in British Columbia. Uh, we're going to go through a test game. I'm going to go through it as quickly as I can, explain the rules, uh, talk about some of the alterations based off of the uh, gameplay explanation videos you'll see in our Kickstarter. Our Kickstarter um, videos were recorded in August, and uh, we've gone through a few changes since then, and uh, we've uh, made attempts to uh, amend those in those videos, but I'll go through those changes here. We're going to do a three-player setup. Uh, just a quick aside, we'll talk about the, the board. As you can see here, this represents a rather exaggerated view of the Naramata region, starting here in Penticton and ending in Naramata here at the end. This is the Naramata bench. There are a lot more roads and it doesn't lay out exactly like this, but this is for um, aesthetics reasons and for mechanical reasons. There are uh, 28, just under 30 wineries spread across this region. There's actually about 40 in the actual wineries uh, in the wine region. And uh, seven of them are the signature spots, uh, which are spots that have a few extra options and have these little extra bottles as well. The final game will also have labels on all of these bottles. Uh, it's funny enough, I, I, I been playing this game and uh, designing this thing for so long I, I, I kind of know where everyone is so I know that you know that's Moraine, that's Westbert, uh, that's uh, Red Rooster uh, and, and so forth. There's Poplar Grove cheese and so forth. So I, I kind of know what these places are for shadows and uh, and and so forth. And uh, so yeah, you know, there'll be labels on these final ones, and the uh, signature ones have slightly larger bottles. They also have these little bottle meeples, which you can acquire uh, in the game. Uh, in a four-player game, you get access to these fourth options here. In a three-player game, you don't, so you lose seven. Uh, options and that's the only alteration i would say that the uh four player game is a bit tighter uh near the near the end of the game it's a bit more difficult you have to really plan your strategy i think in the three player game uh, you don't get locked out as often in a two player game you do we do recommend playing with a phantom uh, it's not mandatory and then in a solo game you would run with two phantoms in order to make the game uh, fun so we're going to do a three player game just for easy sakes he sakes uh, there are uh, four players here. We're gonna go, we're gonna remove one, and uh, you notice that these are in sketch form. The final game is going to have uh, game tray uh, player boards, so they will not look like these. Um, they will be wider and longer and be in trays, so this is not reflective of that. Same thing with the meeples are pretty close to their final, thankfully, and the die has been done, which is nice. Uh, and uh, we have the cork meeple, the bottles, and so forth. So I'm gonna do a quick setup, change things around, and um, We'll just do a quick cut. Okay, we've got a uh, three-player setup going right here. We have three characters, black, white, and blue. We have their point trackers on the five-point space. We can see here that um, uh, we have our black Hummer, and there's a meeple. There's a three action tokens on his table. This is the white uh, sports car at uh, White Lance Revolution. This is uh, these are my three action tokens in the vehicle, and finally the blue little microbus. And we have three action tokens for there, and it's meeple as well. There are a few extra uh, action tokens um, uh, included. One is in case you get a fourth one, which is a specific upgrade you can acquire, and this one is in case you get to 100 points, and you um, can add this token on top to show that you have passed 100 points. We have spread out our uh, first initial upgrades here and we have our cards here as well they've been shuffled and this is our player order starting left to right just to make things easier uh, black white and blue as you can see this is tells you who goes first this is a point to point game but unlike other point to point, -to -point games the person who goes next is the first per per person furthest back in time not furthest back on the board so black is going to be going first because he's closest to the time so if this was like this then white would be going first, then blue, and then black. So if white goes here and does an hour-long action, blue goes here and does a half-an-hour action, then black would go with a half-an-hour action, then blue would go with, a, with an hour action, and so forth and so forth. So for this order here, we'll go back to blue, white. Sorry, blue, white, and black. There we go. Next step is going to be for drafting tours. Now in day one, we're in day one, indicated by this little cork meeple on day one. Uh, we would, um, it's not, the strategy isn't as big of a concern just because the whole board is open. You don't, you don't have any specific upgrades. Uh, so you can't really define what your game is like, but you do get the option. So everyone draws five cards and then they get to choose one. And we'll skip to that point. Okay, so we can see here that everybody by the way, ignore those, those are little graphical errors. Um, we have, uh, everyone has drawn five cards. Now they get to choose one. 
Now, when you choose one, you get, you get the option, play it as a tourist that you wish to uh, attempt to satisfy or discard it and gain three prestige. This will help you in purchasing upgrades and for mitigating uh, down the road. At this point in time, uh, I can see we have five cards. The maximum you can have is four, except for the white car, which can only have three. He, however, gets a plus two bonus when he discards tourists instead of just uh, three, so he gets five. Uh, the Humber special ability allows it to cross these roads. And finally, the Volkswagen, or sorry, the microbus, can do a pairing action on the road without having to use a pairing action, which can be very, very useful. Uh, so uh, for this one, we will uh, play it safe. And uh, for a strategy, I will pick, let's say, um, purchases may not be a great idea on the first day, so we will grab this uh, tasting card, and then the remaining cards will uh, shift over to the next player. Then this person will accept the card, and we'll continue this until we all have our cards, and we'll skip to that point in the uh, game. Okay, so we have uh, done our draft. Uh, for this first game, we are going to be going, uh, we went uh, clockwise and you see here shows you how to do clockwise. And then on day two, you would do counterclockwise, day three clockwise. And if you end up doing a game, uh, a day four, which is an extra long game, you would go the, the opposite direction. We can see that Black Twister, who is the first player, decides to risky, get, be very risky and do four tourists in the first day. Two, uh, the white player, however, is going to only carry two. But because of his ability, he gains five prestige when discarding instead of three. So he gets 10 prestige to begin, which is not a bad start. And blue is going to go in, in between, carry three tourists. And uh, because of his, of his regular ability, he gets three prestige. Now, remember, these action tokens can count as prestige. So this person technically has five. This person has 13. This person has three. The red player, which is not we're not playing here, gets a fourth uh, action token. These action tokens can be used to uh, activate these upgrade. So with that out of the way, we are going to assign our first spot. Now I'll tell you right now, going four players on day four tourists on day one is probably not a great idea. Um, it's probably not gonna be a good idea. But I wanted to show people the, the, the various strategies two, three and four, depending on how you start the game. Black's going to go first. And because black is going first, black can choose which of the two starting areas. Now he can look at his board and you can see he's got uh, no cheeses, some tastings, and a uh, view. And we can see here the two starting areas are a little different. We have two views here, and we have two cheeses here, and no, no views. So this person, despite there's tastings here as well, he may want to go on this side, which is what he's going to do. He's going to start on this side. White goes next, and White has a cheese. Um, so we'll start down here because he wants to get some of those cheese cards. And blue is a bit of both. Got two photographs and a cheese. So he's going to go and join up with the black player up in this area. And that's basically the, the, the start of the game. We're in day one. And now we'll show you how the various actions and, uh, and the way the game plays. So black player is first because uh, he's lowest on the time and furthest right. And that means he gets to pick any location. He can go forward. He cannot go back. The black is one of the few that can hop between roads. Uh, roads, he always has to be ahead of the previous one. So this one's ahead of this one, but these two are parallel, these two are parallel, these two are parallel, and these two are parallel. So he couldn't jump from this one to this one. He has to move ahead. So the black player, um, well, he, he knows he wants to view and he wants tastings. Now, he he could waste an hour, I wouldn't say waste an hour, but invest an hour to get a black bottle, but he wants a tasting and a view, so he's going to do that. Is he going to do the tasting? I think he's going to do the tasting. No, he's going to do the, 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 the view first. I'll show you the view action. So we get the lock token. These uh, In Tabletopia, we have these flips. So you can just put a lock token on there. And then he places his meeple on top. That's how your basic action works. It's exactly the same for everyone except this action right here, which we'll go into in a second. So he's doing a view action. So when the view action costs a half an hour, he moves his meeple up. Boop. And that is it. He then grabs the die and rolls it. That was a roll? No. Nope. There we go. That's a roll. <clears throat> so he, he so he rolls a two. He gets a two of view tokens. So he's going to drop one and then drop a second. So that is uh, his turn. He can, if you wish, spend additional uh, resources. Uh, he doesn't have any money. He can spend tokens. He doesn't want to do that. So now he can put these anywhere he likes. There's only one guy who requires. So he's going to put the uh, two view tokens on that one. And that is basically it for his turn. Very, very quick. 
Now we're on to the white player. White player goes next. White player is down here, and he has this road all to, all to himself. And so he's going to do a cheese. He's going to take his time, move his meeple over here, and he's going to do a cheese action. So same thing applies. We go over here, grab the cheese token, put it right there, and he's going to drive out and go on this cheese action. Now cheese actions and tasty actions are very, very similar. We draw a pair of cards like this. Now he, the white player gets to play one automatically, and... Uh, and then and if you want, you can spend two prestige in order to play another. Or, if you want, you can discard a card and gain the prestige on the reward. So if he discards this cheese card, he'll gain two. If he uh, discards this one, he gets one. So, And because this is the beginning of his turn, there's no point. He might as well grab that one. Now, if he wants, he can pay two. And he actually has quite a, few, uh, quite a bit of money. But he has to think. Look at what we have here. Now, this is something I should have done before. So let's go back in time a little bit before he did the cheese action. He's going to do a cheese action, and there's an upgrade here that allows him to play both cheese, uh, two cheese cards without having to pay the extra money. That's pretty good. Uh, it costs seven plus one because it's, there's one card to the right. So it would cost him eight. So that's going to require quite a bit. Now, at this point, because nothing uses an action token, he actually might be best to grab and spend three action tokens for his money. At that point, he only needs to spend one five token, so he's going to put this five token back and spend it. Um, but because he spent, uh, because of the cost, oops, sorry, wrong token, he has to put one of those here. So he's going to put one on here, indicating that this price of this one has gone down. He then grabs this seven card, which he'll lay right here. And now, when he does a cheese action, he can play two cards uh, for free without having to pay the extra cost. These will slide down and we will draw a new one. Uh, so this one right here allows you to spend three prestige to remove a lock token ahead of you. This one just allows you to grab three automatically. This one gives you a plus one action token and this one allows you to use two action tokens to immediately gain three points. As you might imagine, these two are a good combination because once you get this one, you'll have a fourth token, which means you can get six. So if someone grabs this early, they can potentially grab upwards of nine additional points. That's not including the points on the back of the card. We'll see that here, that that's a five pointer. Now, that's a four-pointer there, for example. And this card here, we just grabbed, also gives us three points at the end of the game. So we're already uh, doing pretty well. So like I said, we're going to grab that, uh, oops, sorry, not that one, that one. Grab that cheese card. That cheese card goes here, and this cheese card goes over here. They're different cheese cards, so they can be on the same guy. And he did that for free. He did not have to spend two uh, um, resources, to two prestige in order to play that. So that's not a bad turn. So we, already this guy is worth three points. This guy has two points with his view action. So not a bad start for the white player so we're going to go on to the blue player the blue player is um got three so he's got some room to spare so he's going to go here on this action this is a favor action now a favor action costs an hour so he's going to hop skip these guys and goes right here at 12 o'clock now when you do a favor action if you don't have the bottle meeple for that uh, winery you'll gain that one we'll grab that he gets the bottle meeple he immediately gains three points for that so let's grab so immediately gains three points. We'll put the, these guys back in their spot. Now, unfortunately, that is effectively it for him. But later on, this action will be a lot easier and a lot faster, allowing him to do more actions in a day. But this is something else that's of, of interest. So in the future days, when he lands on this space and he has the matching bottle meeple, he can do any combination of actions here all at once uh, and then minus 30 minutes off the total action which is not bad. So for these two actions, if you want to do a purchase and a view, it would be a half an hour for, for both actions. Uh, that's the reason why these are a good spots, especially on day two and three. Now, uh, the other interesting thing about this action is that it doesn't get locked out, which means it's always available. You can always land on it um, you know, unless there is another uh, vehicle there. So obviously he couldn't land here because another vehicle is there. He can't land here because this guy is at this winery, but he can land here. Uh, no lock token, and he gains his bottle, he gains his points. But you notice these little favor symbols that indicates that if there's a guy with a favor requirement, he wants to visit one of these signature wineries. This guy does right here. He has that requirement. That doesn't. This doesn't cost any time. You just grab a token automatically and lay it right here. So he has one point. This line has been uh, satisfied. Uh, he can maximize his points to five. If he goes to visit four of all seven wineries, he's going to try to do that. Um, but that's going to cost him a lot of time, potentially having an issue with time penalties. 
So that is blue's action. On to black. Black is next. Black cannot land on this winery because blue's occupying it. He wants to do a tasting. He doesn't want to get too far ahead. So he's going to commit to a tasting action here. So to do that, we'll grab a tasting lock. Boom, right there. Place it on there, place it on there, and move up one hour, hop skipping to 12.30. Now, once again, tastings operate the same as uh, cheese, drawing two cards. Now, you'll notice that um, these give you way more rewards, three or four instead of uh, one or two, because the action does cost an hour. It also gives you more points. So, he he's tempted. Unfortunately, he does need a lot of tastings to get satisfied. So... Will he spend the two or will he gain the four? And I think he's actually going to be a little smart. He's going to put one on here. And he's going to discard this guy and he'll get four prestige for that. So that'll help him mitigate later tastings down the road. Um, he also, if he wants, he's not going to do that, but if he wants, he could spend these four to gain this card right here because it's one less because of this token. Uh, but he wants to mitigate because uh, he has a lot of guys to satisfy. He also could do one of the purchase uh, cards here. So that's it for him. He's done his one-hour action. We're now on to White again. White gets to go because White only did a half-an-hour action. And uh, he wants to do another cheese. This is this is what he wants to do. He got his ability, and he wants to cheese. So he's going to do that, move right across the street to this. He, he's going to do another half-hour. So now he's going to do this. Now we'll see, once again, two uh, cheese cards, and they are different. Not only that, but they are different than the cheese cards that are here. So he is going to place both of those because he can do that because of his ability, because of this little ability allows him to play both. And we also can see, um, technically we should be doing this the other way around, boop, boop, and because we can see the images above. There we go. So now we can see he has all four cheeses, so he's maximized his points for this card. Not a bad start. He, now, he also has one of those favors, so he wants to help visit some of these wineries down the road. So that was his action. It's on to Blue. Blue wants to do another action. Now, what does Blue want to do? Blue, 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 blue. Definitely tastings and views and cheeses are all a good idea. He doesn't want to go too far, so he's going to drive along this road, and he's going to go here on this view action. I'm going to draw a view. We'll flip that puppy around. Lock out view. Boom. Half hour action, done. So he's going to do the exact same thing. He's going to do this, grab this, roll the die, and he gets a full three. And since he has money, he's going to spend one prestige and gain four view tokens, which is the maximum you can get. There's an upgrade that allows you to upgrade to five, but... Um, this point in the game, nobody has that, so the most he can get is four. So he rolled three, he only needs to spend one to get four. So he's going to be smart. He's going to put one on him, one on him. He has two more. This one has the more points, so he's going to start investing in that one to maximize his points for that one. Not a bad turn at all. Now, once again, uh, he probably should have spent one of his action tokens instead of his money, but not a big deal. If he wants, he also could spend the four to get this. <clears throat> in a three-player game, locking, uh, removing lock tokens isn't as useful. He wants this plus one token, though, because he can combine it with this one. But maybe the white player is going to want to do that first. We'll see who does it. White player is next. Now, he doesn't need any more cheeses. His cheeses are maxed out. He wants to do tastings now. Uh, we don't have any tasting upgrades here. And... Um, uh, where's the nearest tasting? Oh, the newest tasting is right here, and he also does have a uh, favor requirement. But he really wants a favor token. So he's actually going to go up here as well, and he's going to grab the white bottle. That white bottle is going to hit him three points automatically. And as stated, this guy here gets a token. So now this line has some satisfaction. This is fully satisfied, so he's doing pretty good. And uh, that cost a full hour, so he's going to hop, skip, black, and go to 1 o'clock. Black player is up next. Now, black player wants to, uh, needs a lot of resources. Can't land on the winery here. Uh, he, do, he can skip and go to one of these. And he doesn't need cheeses. He needs wine. And the nearest wine is here. So he's going to do the one thing he can do that no one else can do. He's going to put a lock token on here. And jump across the road to this one. This costs an hour. He's going to jump all the way to here to 130. And he's going to draw two 
wine cards. Now, once again, he could discard one for four if he wants and, and maybe buy an upgrade. But he is thinking very shallow, so because uh, he's going to spend two, put one on here. And now he cannot put this guy here because it's different. He can put it here, but he's going to put it here just to make sure that these lines are satisfied. So, so far, two, three lines are satisfied, but we still have one, two, three, four, five, six uh, that he needs to... Uh, to satisfy otherwise he'll he'll suffer negative points so that cost him two so boom boom and he's going to move back, back up to here and place those back in the bag and now it's on to blue's turn now blue has three pairings he's gonna do a pairing action and he's gonna do the one thing that no one else can do he doesn't he can do a pairing here if he wants but he can do a pairing right in the middle of the road and then maybe do the cheese action does he need a cheese action yeah he could do a cheese action so he's gonna park on the road that means he doesn't lock out a pairing now, these cost a full hour, so one, two, and he's going to move all the way to 230. Now, he started that, and so 1230 gets him seven prestige, so once again, one, two, 230, he gets seven prestige, so five and two ones here. So that's the first benefit of doing a pairing. You get a prestige award, so you get a big prestige award. He jumps up. Now he has actually quite a bit. He's got a nine, nine prestige, not counting his tokens. And he also gets to get a pairing token for everybody that requires a pairing. Everyone gets satisfied at once. Oops, sorry, wrong one. So he will go here and he will gain one, two, three. And everyone gets one. That's the thing about a pairing. It will satisfy everyone that has it. So there you go. So that's pretty good. Now he has uh, only two lines that are unsatisfied in this area. Not bad at all. And that costs two hours, so he is not going to be doing anything for a bit. White's turn. White wants to do a pairing action as well. Uh, actually, let's go back to blue. Blue can still purchase. He needs to be dumb not to purchase something now. So he's going to do five. He's going to spend his tokens. One, two, three. And then this is eight. And he needs one more for nine. So we can put that there to gain this. He's going to gain a token because he's going to get his fourth token. And that is him with his turn. I'm going to put these guys back. So this is more points, by the way. It's four points. He gets his uh, extra additional token. And now he wants to pick up that uh, nine card because then he can spend tokens to get points. And the, we have this one. This one takes a, an action. This allows you to do both actions in a location on one turn. So that's it for him. Now, on to white. White is next. Uh, I say white could do a pairing. He might avoid it. It'll be a negative three penalty. But that being said, he's at a position where he can maximize his score. So he's going to do that. There is, thankfully, a pairing action right there. Flip that token over. And moving on to the pairing. That gets him an hour, so he's going to go one, two, all the way there, but he gets maximum points, so maximum uh, prestige. He gets all three. So he's still doing quite well with this, uh, for his points here. I'm oh, sorry, for his money, but what is he? He could buy the nine now. He could. That would be really, really mean, but this only costs three now, so why not? Because it'll help him later down the road. So he's going to grab this guy. It only cost him three. Now it does shift that other one down a bit, but uh, those go back. And now these tokens have been used, so they get back as well. Shifting this nine down. You reveal another one. Uh, this one is a relatively inexpensive one, and it allows you to get full. It gets you nine prestige every time you do a pairing, no matter when you do it. So you can do a pairing immediately and not have to worry about it. This one, not worth that much, only one point, but it'll help him down the road if he needs it. Still 10 prestige left, still really good with it. Really good with the money. He can get another card on, on his next turn if he wishes. So, like I said, he's doing a pairing. He got his money, but he doesn't have his tokens. Let's grab his tokens. One from him, and one for him. So now, this guy is really good, and he's only missing his tasting. So he wants to start doing tasting actions, and he's going to hope that this area is free. It's going to be some time before he gets to go because the black gets to go next. Now, black definitely wants to do a pairing action because he has four guys. No pairing here. He could jump the road and go here if he wants. Um, and he's going to do that. What the heck? He's going to go up to here and do a pairing action himself. 
So now he has all four tokens, and he started at seven, so he gets a seven prestige. And now it's on to Blue. Now Blue can go anywhere he wants. Um, he can go to this winery if he wants. Oh no, yeah, White's up there. White can't go across. So White's nearest one he can go is over here, which is Moraine. So does Blue go to Westport? Yeah, Blue should do Westport. So Blue's going to go here. Going to grab the red bottle. Uh, and he's going to get a uh, favor token for this guy. Still needs some, uh, some tastings, though. That costs him one hour. He moves up beside black. Okay, so white's turn is next, and white um, wants to do a tasting. Can't do a tasting there. Can do a tasting there, but, you know, he really wants to do a tasting. And actually, no, he, he wants to do a tasting, and he can still grab a bottle on his way out. So let's do a tasting on this action right here. It'll go right here, and we will do a tasting right there. It costs him an hour. Boop, hop, skip those guys. And he gets to draw two cards, one and two. Uh, he gets a four cost and a three cost. Now, he'd actually probably want to... He has good money here. So he's going to discard that, get three, so he can play both of these cards. So he's at eight. And he's going to play both of them on here. Let's put that up there. Put that behind there. There we go. So we can see we have two unique cards. He's already at five points. So now this guy has no penalties. He's done his action, and he gets no penalties. He spent two... And he's doing well. It's been one hour. He's done. Black's going to go next. Black has money now, so he should probably try to get some purchases. He's got tastings. He's only basically missing out on these purchase tokens. So he wants to do a purchase. The nearest purchase is there, so he can't do that one. No purchase is there. And the next purchase is all the way over here. He's nearing his end of this day, so he might as well do it. Let's get a purchase token out. He's going to jump all the way over here. And he's going to do a purchase. Now, with a purchase action, it costs a half hour, so he's going to move beside white. Boop. Draws two cards. He can draw, if he wants, a token, a one prestige to gain an additional one. But we look here, we see this is five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. And he has three tokens, so he basically has 11. He could, and he, yeah, he will. He wants to see about maximizing his points. So he's going to put that guy back. Get another one. Oh, he's lucky. A two cost. So he's going to buy all of these. So he's going to cost five, six, seven, eight for that one, and then two of his action tokens for the last one. So he's basically broke again, but he's doing pretty well. All these go away. So now he has to attach them. Uh, this guy can take three. This guy can take two. He's going to put uh, two of them on this guy. He's going to do the four and the six, and he's going to put the three here. Move that guy aside. Put him right there. Done. Not a bad turn for him. He's broke, but at least he has. Those, at least he's not incurring any penalties. Let's check. Nope, he is not incurring any penalties. Smart man. So blue is next. Blue is still uh, still has a few issues. Still needs cheese. Still needs tastings. So blue <coughs> can't grab any more bottles because he really needs to. He could go right here to Moraine and block white. So white can't do that. But let's play a friendly game for a bit and let's do a tasting. He wants to do a tasting. Actually, no, he's going to be mean. He wants to do that. So he's going to do his tasting action. So let's put a tasting token there. Draws two cards. Um, he can spend two if he wants, but he only needs one token, to like one to satisfy him. He's going to do that. And he actually can't. He can't play the other one. Look at that. These two are identical, and this is the only one that requires a tasting. So he can't play that one even if he wanted to. So that one's going to go back, and he's going to get four tokens, so four prestige. So let's see. Where is he at? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He wants to get that one, but he can't. So that was an hour action. White player is up next. Now, white, once again, uh, still wants tasting, but he wants a bottle uh, as well. Now, like I said, he's not taking any penalties. Does he Does he, he can get a bottle there. He can go over here to Deep Roots, or he can go to Serendipity, which is over here. Uh, now, notice that he's going to be going heavy cheese in the future, so he wants to go for Serendipity's bottle. So he's going to do that. That's going to take him an hour right to 5 o'clock. He gets the green bottle. And he gets three points. Oh, so which means once again he's tied up with blue.
And because he has that requirement there, he's going to snag another favor token for this guy. Done and done. Two tokens, and that is basically it because he's at 5 o'clock and he can't do any actions at 5 o'clock. Uh, Black is up next. Black, well, once again, doesn't have much for options. He can do a, maybe two views, or he can do tasting. Um, that's tough. What's he going to do? Uh, there's a view right in front of him. Does he need favor? No, he doesn't. And he's not going to get any more wine. So for wine purchases, um, there's two views in front of him. So he's going to try to do another view and see if he can maximize the view tokens. Well, so that gives him a half hour. He goes right here. Grab the die. Let's see. Give me three. Only two. No, he doesn't want to spend that last one to get one. So he gets two view tokens. So this guy can take up to seven tokens, so he needs to do one more action, hopefully get three, so he can get the maximum points, which is 12. Blue can go now. Now, Blue, he wants to do a cheese action just because that's satisfied and he doesn't want the penalty, and he'd rather have plus one point. So he's going to do a cheese action. Can't go there, so he's going to do a cheese action here. Move this guy over. Two cheese cards. He's going to spend two, cost a half hour. Back to black. Black's going to do another view action. He's going to try to get his maximum points there. So we're going to flip that over. That gets locked out. He moves up. Half hour to there. Roll the die. Give me three. Give me three. Two. Well, he's going to spend his last token and get three. So one, two, so he did pretty good. He didn't get really anything on the on the on the tastings, but he got some boxes and he got maximum view. So a lot of, fo of photographs. And now we're at the end of the day because it's five o'clock and no one has an ability that allows him to go past that. No one has the end of six o'clock upgrade. So white gets to go next. To he gets right here, and he, that means he's starting at the next day. Blue will go beside white, and then black will end his day and go beside blue. So that's beginning a day order, but now we're going to uh, do the end of day. End of day, we move on to day two. Everyone has to trade in their tourists and score for points. So we're looking at here, we'll first check and see if there's any penalties. And we can see there's no penalties here, no penalties here, no penalties here, thankfully, and you got no penalties here, so black is incurring no negatives. Let's go for the first guy. We can see he's got his pairing token and this. That's two points for having one card, and pairings are all two, always two points. So he gets four. One, two, three, four. This guy here, we can see, has uh, one bottle and one purchase box. So he gets two points plus whatever bottles are on here, which is three. We can see that up there. So three, four, five, six, seven points. So two points for this, three points for the uh, bottle, for the box, and two points for so two, four, Five, six, seven. So seven points moves him to 16. Now this one's the good one. He's got all seven here, which allows him to maximize his points here as 12. And plus two is 14 points. So that'll take him to 30. Not a bad start, actually, for black. Did not, did not bad. And we have here, we have two boxes and pairing once again two points this is pretty good six and four is ten uh, plus two is twelve another fourteen points definitely a very good start goes to 44 points for day one he was really lucky he was luckier than usual so on the white player it said white player only has two tourists although he has more upgrades and he gets to maximize his cheese at eight he has two favor tokens which takes him to two and the two prestige here uh, for the pairing. So he has eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 points. And this next one here, he has two wine, gets him five, plus two, which is, which is seven. So that ends blue, sorry, eight white at 30 points. Black is at 44, and now on to blue. You can see here, he's got one token here and two here. Not much for him, he only gets uh, one, two, three, four, five points for this guy. So two, three, five points for this guy. And five points for this last guy. 
All right, so we're ending uh, the day here at black in the lead at 44 points. White is back here at uh, 30, and blue is trailing in the last place at 26. Now, it may seem like black has this in the bag, but remember, these guys have some upgrades. He, for example, already has three, four points in the upgrades there, so technically he's actually at 34, and, and he has a four-point space, so that'll get him up to 30. Uh, up to, uh, 30. But they also have bottles, which will allow them to do faster actions later down the road and potentially do more actions. So everyone has their uh, to action tokens returned to their board. We see Blue has his four now, and we're going to move on to day two. So that's going to involve doing another draft. And then once we do the draft, we'll start our starting action. So we'll jump to that uh, step right now. Okay, so we are on day two, and we can see here that the black, once again, is going for four cards. White has now gone to three, and blue is going to stay at three, because they are, once again, uh, thinking of long-term strategies going into the third and final day. Uh, because white is here first, white gets to pick the first position, and obviously he's going to do heavy, heavy cheese, so he's going to go back to the, his cheese spot. And uh, blue is next. Blue... Uh, wants heavy photograph, so he's going to go on the photograph spot. Also, he has the black meeple, so the black bottle, so he wants to be able to do that action. And then black is a mix, but has a bit of both. He can go anywhere he wants. He is going to try to compete with white on this road, even though he goes second. So that's it. We're on to uh, the beginning of this day. Now, there's a few other things we need to do. One, we are going to drop one token on each of these guys, dropping the cost of all of them. Which means this is eight, and this is seven, this is four, and this is four. Uh, definitely not a bad idea. And we also get to remove two tokens, because we're on day two, remove two tokens in front of us. Uh, white is first, and he's not going to be dumb. He's going to immediately remove two of the cheese tokens, even though he's probably going to lose one. So he actually, he's going to leave one up. Um, actually, no, he's going to keep it down. He's going to think, uh, once again, a long-term strategy here. He's going to take those two. Uh, blue... Um, doesn't need to worry about actually he's got area completely open to himself so he will remove this uh view and he's going to remove one of the pairing tokens uh actually no he doesn't need to do a remove a pairing token because he can do pairings on the road so he wants to make things difficult for other people so instead he is going to take out hmm, one of these one of these cheese tokens there And then finally, black wants to remove two, and he needs to do pairing, so he's going to do a pairing here. And to cover his bases, he's going to take the other pairing off. So there we are. So we can see that white's going to be going first. White's obviously not going to uh, do anything else but go for cheese. And do that. Grab a cheese card. Get, grab some two cheese cards. One and a two. And, oh, yeah, and, and obviously, because of his ability, he's going to play both of them. So he's going to play one there and one there. Uh, oh, actually, we can put one right there. It doesn't really matter, but uh, his, his goal, he's going to fill the, all these up. That's his goal. And since he doesn't need to spend money on those anymore, he has a lot of money. So he could do this. Um, that only let him three points because he doesn't have the fourth token. This one's neat. Being able to do both actions is pretty neat. I also like this one, but to do that costs five, six, seven, eight. He's gonna make these all cheaper. So he is going to go for that one because he knows that blue wants it. So it costs him eight and then the nine. So he gets to get this one. Now with this one, of course, he can spend. He's gonna do it right now before he forgets. He's gonna slap two tokens on there right now, which will net him immediately three points. Uh, now, this is also worth five uh, five points on its own at the end of the game. So he's actually doing pretty well for that one. So he spent uh, three. He's done that. He's done that. And these shift down. He can't buy any more cards. He won't buy one card per turn. And this, ooh, this is a good one. This allows you to use action tokens to satisfy cheese and view. Okay, that's not so bad. He can't pay for it because he doesn't have the money and he just paid for that one. But he is done. Uh, oh, by the way, so... Um, that was a half an hour action. It is on to blue. Blue is going to do a view, and blue is going to do a view right there because he can do another view at the other action there. So he's going to do that. Move him up a half hour. Grab the die. Two. And he's going to spend two prestige to get four tokens. 
On to Black. Black is first turn. He wants some cheese as well, so he's going to move half hour and go for a cheese action. He wants to uh, start small and work, work his way up. Put a cheese token down, move his vehicle up to the cheese, and he's going to do cheese. Give him two cheese cards. One and two. Once again, because he got, got all four tourists, he doesn't have any money. Um, so he's going to spend both of these to place the other cheese token on that guy. So there are two, two satisfied customers right there. So everyone did a half an hour action, so we're just back to the beginning with White. White's going to do another cheese because there's another cheese in front of him. Like I said, he thought uh, Black was going to do that, so he's going to move the cheese, which is another half hour action, moves them up to 12. He's going to take two cheese cards. One. Oh, don't want to do that. So he's going to get two cheese, and we see uh, some repeats, unfortunately. So he cannot place this guy here, but likely he has multiple cheeses, and because he can play both, he's going to put the other one right there. Overlap. There we go. So that is it for him. That took a half hour and uh, didn't cost him any money. So does he want a pie? Like he can buy that one. It only costs him five. And that allows him to do two actions in a location with by spending an action token. That's good. He really wants that one. Really useful on day three, though, because that allows him to use two actions on a turn. Um, nah, now nah, we'll hold it for now. Blues turns up next. He's going to do another view, which allows him to jump. Now that is cool because he gets to do it here. Uh, so actually he's not going to do that because he has the black bottle. And because he has the black bottle, he can move here and do any action here for a half hour. So it only costs him half hour. And he can do both of these actions. They don't get locked out. And uh, does he have, yeah, he's, he, and he has, oh yeah, he thought I had, look at that. He's got a purchase icon right there. So he can do both. So he's going to get his uh, two view. He's not going to spend any money on extra tokens at this time. So that's going to go here and here. So one, two, three, four, five. All right, so that's one more left for that one. And that guy's starting up. And because he went to a one of his uh, favors, he gets to go do a favor. And he gets a favor token. So he's thinking ahead now. And also, because of his ability, he gets two of these. Okay, can he spend it on the expensive one? One. Three, four, five, six. Um, is he? Yeah, well, he's going to leave those out for now. He's probably going to spend them for other purposes. But So that's it. He grabs the six, attaches it to this guy. This one goes back. Not bad. Only cost him a half hour. Back to black. Now black. Photographs and cheese. Photographs and cheese. What does he want? Um, now the nearest one. It's going to be another cheese icon right here, so he's going to go for this cheese icon. So, um, both of them are unique, so he's going to grab that guy and put him there. Unfortunately, he doesn't have the money to play the other one, so he has to trade that guy in, but he does get one prestige, which isn't much. So this is a situation where he needs prestige now if he wants to have any chance of getting these things filled up. So, on to white, brand new day. He has, he has the white bottle which is very useful because now he can go to uh, this wine right here, Ruby Blue. So he's going to do that and allows him to grab these three. And he can do all three and he has the money. So this total is a tasting. And yeah, he's tasting as well. And the cheese. Uh, even though this is a four-player game, he does have access to this other action. So uh, total for this is going to be 90 minutes because it's going to be an hour for this one, half hour and a half hour, and he gets a half an hour discount. So one hour and a half hour he should do a pairing next and he gets to do all three actions first of all he's gonna do his cheese and he gets to play both he's gonna do one here one there and actually no this is the one that has maximum points so he wants to do that one Come on. and that one right there not a bad start for him he's got four and he only needs one more there. Now we're going to do the tasting, which he doesn't, unfortunately, uh, have an upgrade card for. He doesn't want to spend it because he's going to be buying a thing. So he is going to uh, plant this guy here, and he's going to trade that in for four prestige. Now he can do this any order he wants, and now he gets to do the purchase, and he's got two cards. That being said, he, he can play both. So is he going to do? Yes, why not? He's going to buy them both. 
because he has the money to spend. So he's broke now for the first time, but he managed to get that done. Very, very good start. And he's used his action. 90 minutes. He's halfway through the day, but look at this. He's already got only to do a pairing and uh and he's got some, needs, needs, needs some more tasting, but he I, he's pretty confident. He needs to get to green neck. Green's up here, and green has. Look at that. <gasps> look at all that stuff he has. Um, he can do the tasting, and he can do the cheese there for only an hour. So on to blue. What is blue going to do? Blue has the black and red. So the red one's right here. Does he want to jump? Yes, he's going to jump. He's going to jump to this one here, and he gets to do all of these. Now tastings and purchases. We'll do we don't do them order, and we'll see if we can what we can do. So he's going to do that uh, once again. Taste uh, because of all the actions here. It's ninety minutes, so he's going to meet up with White at one thirty. Oops, <clears throat> and he has to do those actions there. So first bowl, we're going to roll, and he gets two, and he's going to use his two tokens to get four. So one more, I think, here maximizes. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. And he's going to start building up on this one. So this one only takes five. So he might not bother doing another view action just because um, there's no point. It's half an hour for one token. It's three points, though, mind you. Um, these two guys get favor tokens. And then finally, uh, he's going to do his tasting. So he's going to do his tasting. One, two... We have two threes. Uh, he can't uh, play them both because he doesn't have the money. So he's going to put his card here. Discard that one for three. Now it's not terribly smart. He, he can do his purchase, which he's going to do. Let's ho oh, good. There's a three. He can't buy the six. He doesn't have the money, but he can spend three. He's going to spend his last token. Put one token there and put these back. So he gets the three, goes right here. So this guy is 100% satisfied. No, that's true. He needs two more tasting. So we know what he's going to do next. All right. So these guys are doing very well. Black is not, but we kind of knew that. Uh, Black wants to do his... Does he want to do his pairing or he wants to do another? Because oh, there, there's a pairing right there. Hmm. He can jump to this location and do a view. Or he can do the pairing. But the pairing only gets him six. If he does a half hour to the view action, he will get seven when he does a pairing. So let's do that. Let's do a, pair, a view action. Put it right there. That's a half hour, which means he gets to go again, well, funnily enough, and rolls the die, gets a three, and, yep, yeah, he's going to spend one of his action tokens and get four full tokens. He's doing pretty well so far. He wants to, he, he, he might still incur a penalty here, but he's doing pretty well. Um, and he gets to go again because everyone else has jumped past him. So he's going to do his pairing now, and the pairing action's lengthy right in front of him. So he's going to zip over to there. That's going to cost him two hours. One, two to 2.30, but he's going to get seven prestige. And he's going to get four, because I think he do believe he has four guys of the uh, pairing symbols. Oh, he doesn't. He only has three. So one to him, one to him, and one to him. And like I said, he gets... Five. So now he can definitely mitigate some of his later actions. But it's going to be a few minutes before we get to him because White is going next. White wants to do a pairing. Thankfully, this pairing has now been freed up. So he's at seven. He is going to do a pairing action. He's going to zip over to there and do a pairing action at this location. That gives him two hours. One, two, to three thirty gets him seven. He's back in the money. Um, let's see here. That could be very useful. It, only cost, it costs him five. Put the token there. That's really useful. Well, not this early in the game. He really wants that one. It'll be really useful to maximize these points here. But to do that, that's seven, eight, nine, ten. And he doesn't have that much. So he can't buy that one. So he's going to hold off for now. Um, 
And that was his pairing. Oh, he gets his pairing tokens. I do believe he gets all three. So that is it for him. He's got his money. He has his tokens. And that is it for him. He is all the way up here. He doesn't have very many actions left, but thankfully he does have another bottle at Serendipity that allows him to do some more actions. Blue is going to go next. Blue. Uh, hmm. Blue wants to do... Where is his next... Uh, he also has one on black. He's already gone to black and red, so he's basically done for those. Um, does he do a pairing? Get some two. Need some money, too. So let's do that. Um, he can do a pairing here, but once again, he doesn't have to, so he's going to just park on the road. He's going to do one. He's going to match up with white once again, and he's going to get seven prestige. So this is where things get interesting. Uh, five, six, seven, eight. He could go... He could get one of these. No, he's not. He, he really should, but he's going to hold off because he wants to get some tastings and do some more mitigation in there. So he's doing good for money and um, did his, uh, get his tokens, and then he's done. So on to black. And let's see here. And uh, black has his action done. He has money for that uh, purchase. Does he jump to the cheese? Yeah, he's going to need cheese pretty bad. So let's do a cheese. So half an hour, which means he's going to get to do another action after this. So he's going to do that. Two cheeses. Boom and boom. And we'll see. Um, these are unique cheeses. He's going to spend two to play another. And he's going to put a cheese here. He's going to put the last cheese on that same one. Okay, um, so that was another task, and he gets to go again. And uh, does he want to do another cheese? I don't think so. I think he needs to get some more. Uh, he has photography done. Uh, tasting could be a good idea, but he has the money. Not really all that much money, but he has some money. Maybe he should do a tasting. Then he can satisfy this, and that will give him enough money for the purchase. So the nearest tasting is going to be here, so he's going to do that. Oh, where is it? There you go. Done. Moving up. It's an hour, so he's going to hop skip now. And then two of these puppies, bad boys. One and a two. He's going to grab that one and then claim that one for four prestige. He's going to grab a five. Put that four back. So more than enough to uh, hopefully purchase uh, two boxes of wine or influence two boxes of wine. Uh, white is up next. White is... Um, well, White could do a cheese right in front of him, he did, but he must to make sure he can do this action all the way over here because he has the green bottle. And he's going to do that. I think he's going to jump the gun and just go all the way over to here. And that's going to get him to do these three actions for an hour and a half. So it's one hour and a half. It's going to take him right to the end. Yeah, definitely a good idea. And does he have the money? Oh, yeah, he has tons of money. So first thing he's going to do, let's, um, let's do the tasting first one and a two and he can't use that guy there but he'll use that guy there and he'll spend two to play a, this guy um on here he can't do a purchase oh no he didn't get a purchase he's gonna have a penalty there um oh he doesn't have a view okay so he's only going to do that so that's going to go back to there so he's just going to do the tasting and the cheese <clears throat> so he still has potentially more time to get to this action over here. Uh, two cheeses. He's got to play them both. Uh, that cheese is duplicated there, but not here. He can play this cheese here, and he can play this cheese uh, here. Uh, he got too many cheese cards, unfortunately. Not enough time to have uh, done them all. So uh, he did pretty good. He did pretty good. He can still get to do a purchase. So once again, both cheese cards are in play. That's it for him. On to blue. Uh, Blue's doing pretty good with tasting. He's pretty good for photo. He wants to do a tasting. Yeah, he wants to do a tasting pretty bad. Uh, what does he have? Uh, he has the... Oh, he's got both bottles. And, uh... Oh, wow. The nearest tasting is all the way over here. So he's going to do a tasting here. Nope, he can't do that one. That's actually our fourth player option. So he has to go all the way over here to do a tasting. Oh, this is, uh, not that great. Uh, so that's a full hour. He still has an extra half hour for a task. So let's grab uh, the last two of these guys. Oh, they're the same. Uh, so I guess he can put one here, spend two prestige, 
to play the second one here. So black gets to go again, and um, whew, not very good. He gets the chance to do one more action. He could do another tasting, or he can do a purchase. The purchase would not be a bad idea, so let's get to a purchase. Nearest purchase is going to be over here. He's going to do it right there at that winery. Does he have a, any favor options? He does. So at least he gets to do a favor token for there, at least. So he gets a favor token for this guy. And he's going to draw two of these, a four and a three. So that's going to cost him seven. He gets both, so he's going to attach that one to that one and that to that guy. That's going to help him a lot. Takes him a half hour. And he gets to do another action still. Now, this is where things get touchy. He, he, uh, doing a view probably wouldn't be a bad idea. The problem is there's no views in front of him. Oh, no. Can he cross the road? Anything on the other side of the road? No. Yes, but it's taken up by the white player, so he can't cross the road there. And he can't go over here. Got some here. Can't do a purchase. He'll have to do a cheese because... Um, so three cheeses, he can do a fourth cheese. Yeah, no, unfortunately, he's going to have to do a cheese. So he's going to cross the road, which is something only he could do, which is very useful. Gets to do his cheese. Last task, which means he's going to be first to start the next day. Um, and he's going to do a cheese. So two cheeses. One, two. Still has money left, so he can't play both of them if he wants. He can't play that one on that board, but he can play them on this one. And... Oh no, I guess he's playing both of them on this one, because both of these are on this card, so that's going to cost him two. White's next, and White, um, he only has two places he can go. He can go here or here, so tasting or a purchase, I guess he's doing a tasting. That could be risky. He could end the day, and that means he goes first next day. Is it worth it? Let's just find out. He's got one tasting. There's two there. Is it worth the two points to go over? The answer is yes, it is worth him going over. So he's going to go here. And it's going to cost him two points because he's going over the clock and he's going to move to... Oh, should he... Does he have uh, an arrow? He doesn't have uh, a thumbs up, uh, a favor requirement. So no point. He is going to go here, though, just to lock out and make sure no one else gets anything. So he's gonna lock out, out, take him there, take two bottles. Now these are um, out, so let's flip these over. Oh. Not shuffle, two cards out. So can't pluck that one there, but I can put that one here. And this guy can go here. Yep, that was worth it. It's gonna cost him two. No for photographs, could land there, but he can't now. Too bad, he could have really <clears throat> liked going there. Tasting is his only option. That's gonna take him an hour overdue as well. So he's gonna take a two point penalty. He is going to just move up ahead and go here. Two cards for him. And the last guy on him. So this is maxed out. So he's got three and he's got two. So as we suspected, <coughs> black gets to uh, end his day first, followed by white, followed by blue. Now this is where the interesting thing, can these guys catch up to black? Let's see what black do. First, we've got to check and see if black has any penalties. And we know he does. He has got a, a... no, he doesn't. He, that one's good. That one's good. Is there, yeah, there's white ones there. And he's good. He doesn't have any penalties. Oh, it's good for him. Unfortunately, I can't say the same about everybody else. Unfortunately, each card doesn't really give you much. He only has one bottle here. Two, three. Is eight points for this guy, which is actually not a bad start. This one is two, three, four, five points for this one. We have three cheeses here. Get some five points. Six, seven, eight points. This last guy has got four cheeses, so we actually get seven, eight, nine, and he's got four points there, so it's 11, 12, 13. Let's try that again. One, two, three, four. Four gets him seven. 
11, 12, 13. Not actually not bad. Not bad for uh, there. So 13 to 75, 1, 2, 3 to 78. Okay, so let's go on to white. White <clears throat> has two cheeses here for three points plus two. And these guys are at six. That's actually pretty good. That's 12. 12 plus 3 is 15, 16, 17 for this guy. This one here, let's uh, separate these a little bit, has one cheese and two bottles. So he's at 1, 6, 7, 8 points. Not a lot for that one. He didn't do nearly as well as I was hoping here. So he's going to go to 56, which means I don't think he's going to catch up to black on this last uh, on this day here. Uh, and now we have over here, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So he's got maximum bottles that's 10 points three wine eight points on oh, never nine 18 he's 20 points so 56 to 76 he gets right behind black and we know he's leading technically because he's got all of these so that's that's why you do it folks now let's see if blue um gets past him so let's see if blue is able to recoup. This is actually a pretty good for him. Let's see how well he does. Two bottles. So that's five, six, seven, eight, nine for the first one. This one's gonna be pretty good. So he's got, he's, he's maximized this guy. Oh, wait a second, he's not supposed to have a, I thought he's supposed to have two bottles. Oh no, I made a mistake. I guess he's gonna keep that one. I'll get uh, my money back for that one. So it's nine, eight, plus seven this is a good one so seven plus nine 16 I think it's 24 to the math again 17 yep 24 which is very good so 24 look at that he jumped big jump for him and let's check the last one last one that's eh, not as good but he's got four tokens one two three four five six seven eight nine points so, like I said, uh, suddenly we went from a wide margin to a very low margin. White's only two points behind. And he, of course, he also has a four-point card. So he's technically right about here. Uh, so there's a very good chance that they will pass black on the last day. I'm going to clean this up and we'll move on to the last day. Okay, so we have done that. We're moving on to day three. These all get tokens. So he gets one. He gets two. He has a second one. And he has a second one. So the prices have gone down. So now it might be definitely a good idea to pick some of these guys up and score some extra points and potentially help with the last, with the end game. Um, we're going to do our draft. And uh, we've reset our tokens. Oh, he hasn't yet. So one, two, three. And he gets his fourth. So we'll do a draft and we'll get that resolved right now. Okay, so we're starting our third day. Once again, black is going to take the risk and go with four. Uh, white can't do a fourth. Uh, so he's stuck with three and Blue is feeling confident, so he's going to go with four as well. Now, as we see, black is going first, so black gets to choose first. Black has a bit of cheese, a bit of uh, photographs. He is going to start here once again. White, of course, being heavy on cheese, is going to follow suit, which means blue is once again happy because he gets to do that because he has the black bottle. Uh, now we get to remove meeples. Now we get to remove three meeples because we're on day three. Uh, Black is going to do the same. Going to do the same as before and do that, and he's going to take out a pairing because he needs to make sure he can do a pairing later on. We are going to look at blue. Blue doesn't have to worry about pairing. He wants to knock these out there. And red, uh, he's probably going to need things down the road with tastings. He has tastings, right? Yeah, he's got a few. So he's going to take out these two tastings, and just one more, and he will take out this few. Finally, um, white gets to take out three. He's going to take out a cheese as well. He wants to maximize his cheese. And he is going to uh, take out this cheese and uh, the other pairing on this guy. So still got a f quite a few options that are locked off. And we are starting day three. And black is going first. Black wants cheese, so he's going to do his cheese action right off the get-go. Cheese, he's going to go to the er first cheese. And plop it there, half hour, one, two, oh, identical cards. So he has two identical cheeses, and he doesn't have any money. So he's going to do take this cheese and then claim this cheese for money. So 
two for him. He'll have some extra for next time. And we are seeing white going next. White's going to do cheese as well, but he's a lot better with cheese. Do that half hour. He's going to move up to this cheese action right here. Now he gets to play both of them, so he's going to play both of them. Actually, he's going to play both of them here. He has enough of them, so he wants to make sure that um, he can get this guy maxed out, because this is going to be his good one. So it's a half an hour action. On to blue. Blue, of course, not being an idiot, it's going to go right to here. And he's going to do... Now, funny thing is, if he had this, he could do all three, including the pairing, and maximize his pairing now. And that's actually not so bad an idea, because that's only three... So it's three, four, five. So if we put the token here, put the token here, and then spends three more. I guess it may not be the smartest idea, but put that there. He's going to claim this, which means he gets to do take those off because those have been spent. This slides down so it's no longer as expensive. Oh, end of day at six o'clock. Some extra actions potentially and no penalty for going over. He really wants this card. Actually, he wants this card as well, but now it's no longer six. It's shifted over, so it's one more expensive now. And so he's gonna do his pair he's gonna do everything. He's gonna do uh so one, two, right to one o'clock. He's gonna get nine prestige. So he's gonna take a ten and uh, return one. He is going to do a view, which is two, and he's going to spend two more, so I'll take three back. To get four tokens. So one, two, three, four, and then uh, that was a half hour. So does he? Does he actually have a, a purchase? He does. He has quite a few purchases. So he is going to do that one. Half hour. So he gets to do... Um, he has a half an hour discount. So those are good. He gets two of these. Oh, well, he'd be stupid not to go for both. And yes, he can do both. One, two. Um, hmm. Hmm. I don't think I'll be able to get those. So let's... Yeah, let's one... Get one of those, keep that one. So he gets both of these, one attaches to that one, and the other one attaches to this one. That's pretty good. And he's still got plenty of time left in the day. Uh, black is going next. Black is, is he gonna for, go for a cheese and try to lock out? Or does he want, well, there's no photographs nearby, so he might as well go for another cheese. So he's gonna go on this cheese, potentially blocking uh, white out from getting that cheese action. Two cheese cards for him, and one on him, and he will spend two to attach the yellow one. That action costs half an hour. Uh, White's turn now. White will do a cheese, can do a tasting. He really wants this card. Eight, nine, ten. So basically that uses up everything. And this one only costs two. And he gets to do both actions at that location. Now he has, oh, he has the white and the green. So white's way up there. Um, yeah, might as well do it. Get that out of the way. Let's make sure no one blocks that out. Do the white action. And he is going to do all three, which is a 90-minute action because there's a tasting and there. So one hour and a half hour to one o'clock. He's going to do his tasting first. One, two. And he's going to put that guy there and that guy there, which is going to cost him. Put that five back. So both of those are attached, and now he can do a <clears throat> oh cheese action, which he gets to do. Attach both of them. One more cheese here. One more cheese here. So it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. He wants one more, and then he also gets to do the purchase. Oh, he gets another double whammy. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Where is this? There it is. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, he doesn't have enough for both of them. He can only get one. 
Oh, that sucks. It'd be really nice. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, yeah, just not enough. That's really cost him. You should have traded that card in. But I think I said we didn't know. Could have traded the tasting and got the extra money because that's that's too bad. Only one. Okay, so he is uh, he's doing okay. Not as good as he'd like, but he's not doing too bad. Uh, unfortunately, they, they went out the idea of buying anything new. Although, like I said, uh, this costs three to pick that up. We well, don't know if he's going to need it or not. And Black gets to take his turn. Black could use some photographs. Um, he could use basically anything. What's the nearest up for him? He's going to go for this uh, view action right here. Roll his view die. Come on, high numbers. Oh, look at that. Three. And he's going to spend one to get a full four tokens. Now, the only action that we haven't taken that uh, sometimes you take in this game, we looks like we haven't, is the pit stop. Pit stop is a half an hour, takes any action, and you roll the die and you get uh, one plus. So if I roll this, you would get three prestige or uh, three prestige or four prestige, whatever the case may be. So one, two, and then we're going to offload. Oof. Can he get to 12? That's going to be tough, but he's going to try it. He can do it in one action if, he, if he's really smart. So he's going to put them all on that one. That costs a half an hour, and he has to go again. So the nearest one, he can't do that action. Does he do his pairing? He needs a pairing, doesn't he? Yes, he needs a pairing. So once again, he's going to use his ability to go across the street and go there. He can go there, of course, but he's going to go here and do his here. So it's one, two, and he's going to get seven. Really good for mitigating a uh, card later. So that's him. And we, yeah, he's going to get his uh, one, two, three. Just three, was it four? Just three. One there. Okay, so now he's way ahead of everybody. So now White's turn again. Now White doesn't have another bottle until near the end. So he shouldn't be doing anything like that. He really wants to load up on his cheese. Luckily, there's a cheese right in front of him. That Poplar Grove cheese. So he's going to do the cheese factory right there and that's going to allow him to do two uh can't play no he can oh he can do both of them so one two three four one two three four oh that one only takes one more for that one and then that one's maxed out one two three four five so that's one two three four five and so the other one will go here he can still do another one and just keep on going uh that was a half an hour it's gonna move up behind him these guys still have to do their uh um pairings if they want and he mm, he could probably skip it because he's he should probably um he's gonna go to red boop and he's going to do every action so that's once again going to be a, a 90 minute so hour to there which means he's basically saying no to a pairing oh, that's gonna be tough that's gonna be risky on this last day so he gets two of these guys, and he's going to attach one to here. Oh, does he trade it in, or does he play it? He's going to trade it in for... Um, he gets to do his view. It's two. Yeah, he can do three, four. Not sure if that was economically worth it. I'm sure someone will do the math on that. And finally, he gets to do his purchase. Um, let's hope for a cheap. Oh, there we go. Cheap. And for Does he have six? He does. No, actually, holy, he does. No, he doesn't have. Yeah, that's six. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. So he gets to do both. So he's going to attach that last guy there and this guy to this one. Okay, White's next. Does he want to do his pairing? He also might not do his pairing just because he only has three and he might need the extra for cheese. So he is going to do a cheese action. He still has time if he wants to do something like that. So cheese action. He can do another one too. White, and he's going to do one and two. Now this is going to be interesting. I don't think he can play either of these there, but he can play them both here. So that's three. So he's up to five points there. 
He's, he's maximum there. He shouldn't do another cheese. He shouldn't do another cheese. He could definitely use a tasting, and he could definitely use some money um, so he can purchase another wine, another box. Uh, and he actually yeah, can go again. Oh, man. That's, oh, right. Yeah, I forgot to do his, his tokens from last time. So I can put those two tokens on here now because this is on day two. So we'll get one, two, three points, which will light problem past black. Um, and he doesn't have that token, so he only has the one left. can't believe I missed that. Tasting would be a smart idea, but the problem is he, he'd probably keep both of them. You know what? Doing a tasting, yeah, looks like he's going to do a tasting. But he has to be very, very careful where he goes. Too bad no one bought the orange bottle. Because the next tasting is here. Nope, can't do that one. You can go up to here. So let's look at so all these are views. You should have taken one of these guys off. This is where removing these things is very useful. Because now he can't go where he wants to go. Because he can't do a purchase there. He can do a cheese here and then continue moving up there. So that looks like the only option for him. No, wait a second. He can't do a cheese. He only needs one cheese card to maximize that. One, two, three, four. If he had another cheese, he would do it. Oh, I forgot his token. He visited the... Um, so... He's actually going to do a pit stop. He's going to do a half hour pit stop. He's going to go here. He's going to move up and he's just going to go here and he's going to lock this out. He doesn't, uh, it still benefits from the arrow. So he gets, still gets, sorry, from the favor. So he still gets a favor token, uh, there, but he doesn't do that. Instead, he gets to roll this die and he gets two prestige, not a lot. And he's hoping that, um, that'll help him out later on. So that's it for him. Let's hope that worked out. Black is going next. Black Dead is pairing. Um, that's the money, so he wants to purchase something. So he's going to hop across to here and purchase. One. Oh, a two and a five. Um, five, six, seven. Yep, he's going to buy both. One here and one here. So far, Black's been doing, he's been pretty lucky. Lucky and lucky, lucky. So that was a half hour action. White gets to go again. Um, so white wants to do a tasting. He can go up to here, which is what he's going to do because there's nothing else and he doesn't need any more cheese. Um, actually, he could use more cheese and there's a cheese action right there. So he is going to land here. That's going to cost him an hour and he's going to do the cheese action for free. Uh, how many of those tokens that guy take? That's it. Third one's the last one. Oh, you'll do the cheese. He only needs one. Oops, sorry. Let's do the cheese. Cheese. And other cheese. So we only need one more here to maximize that. So there you go. And he's going to trade that in for one measly. And then he's going to do his tasting. So one and two. <clears throat> well, he's actually going to be weird. And he's going to attach them both to this one. Because if he doesn't have any there, he I think that's kind of going to be a wiser play for him to maximize that card. And that costs two. He'll probably do another tasting before the day is out because there's another one here and another one here. And that is it for him. That's his one-hour action. On to Blue. Blue also wants to do a tasting. He doesn't really need any more views and he wants to get more of these things. Uh, he visited Black. Where are his, his favorite tokens? Okay, so Blue is way back here. He's going to forego doing his um, uh, pairing on the last day. Does he go to Orange? Or does he move on to... No, he's very past them. Moving on to Orange wouldn't be a bad idea. No, all he would do... He, all, the only action that's available to him is to do that, so that wouldn't be a wise idea. So he's going to move up to this there and there, and he's going to roll his die. Just two... No money, so he gets two tokens. So that's going to, I think that one's maxed out, and I know now this is maxed out as well. Oh, that's not a bad move for him. Half hour, black gets to go. Black also wants view or cheese, whatever's in front of him. No cheese, not a lot of options. There's a cheese over there, or he can go to the view. Oh, he doesn't have money, so it's no point going for the cheese, I think. So he's going to go with the view. Also two. Two is the most common. There are 
three twos, two threes, and one one, which nobody has rolled yet, thankfully. So he's going to try and get this guy maxed out. Um, that was a half hour. Takes him right behind here. White gets to go. White doesn't have a lot of options in front of him, but he only has two more options ahead. So he's going to do... Does he... You don't want him to do white any, uh, cheese anymore. I think he's you know, he's he's good on cheese, but tastings, he wants tastings bad. One hour, and he's going to go do a tasting. Okay, so we know that one's maxed out, and he only, he only needs two for this one. So there we go, two and two. Okay, uh, that's it for him. Blue is next. Blue can use wine as well. What's that up there? That's fo photographs. He's maxed out of there. He maxed out there. He Wow, well, he wants a tasting as well. Where is the nearest tasting? Hastings there. Well, he can go here. If he goes here, then maybe he can... No, he won't be able to lock out him, because he can still do one more action. Um, and he doesn't want to lock himself out, so he's going to go right here and do a tasting. And two cards for that. Once again, no money, so he's going to attach that and get that and get money for that one. All right, so that was an hour. Really close. Oh, ah. Uh, Black still has some time left, and he... Does he still want photographs? I think he does. I think he's not going to bother trying to maximize his cheese because he's just not going to do it in time. Plus, I don't think there's enough cheese in front of him. Um, so he's going to go here, do a view. And he's going to roll that die. Oh, they spoke too soon. It rolls a one. Not very good. Not good at all. Luckily, he has another action, so he's going to do another. Now, once again, um, there's no more views in front of him because he's blocking, but he can cross the road to go to Serendipity. He's going to do that for another go-around. Very useful ability he has. And he rolls another one! Oh, that sucks. So now he's at 430. Uh, White wants to do another tasting. That's going to take him into a penalty zone. Um, yep, he's going to do that because he wants to maximize those points. So there he goes. One hour takes him into the red line. He loses two points, goes behind black. And, no, oh, wait a second. He's maxed out on, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. He's maxed out on that. So what does he actually need? He actually needs money. He needs money because that's maxed out, that's maxed out, that's maxed out. Does maxed out. He has one of those, but he, he could use more money. So if he goes there and does a another... Oh, no, he can't. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. So he was here in a tasting. Move that one back. Oh, he might, he might not have done a very smart move because he only has one money. And he wants to do another purchase so he doesn't get a penalty. He's already got three penalties, and that's going to really kill him. He has to try to reduce that down. But the purchase is this here, and not here, because that one's locked out because it's on a three-player game. Oh, no. I think his only play now is to do is to do um, uh, a, a pit stop and then just buy uh, an extra card. Although this one's only going to give him one point. Oh, no, this is not very good for him. He goes there, and he pulls a card. Oh, there's nothing he can do. There's no card that's worth three, and I think the twos are already in play. Yep, the twos are already in play, and there's only two of those. Oh, no. This is not a good play for him. He's going to take a big penalty. And he could have used this. I forgot he had this. He could have taken a token off, but that costs three, and he doesn't have three. So, yeah, I guess he's just doing a pit stop. So he's just going to do a pit stop. Actually, no. He might, he should, nah, I'll take him into an hour and he'll lose points for it. Now nah, he'll just do a regular pit stop. He'll do a pit stop right there. Half hour, take him to five. He won't suffer a penalty. He'll roll this die. Please be high. Don't be afford it. Okay, two. Now that gives him three because it's one plus. Was it one? Did I give him? I don't think I gave him the extra. I think I just gave him. I'll give him one more. Then I think I screwed up the last pit stop. So one, two, three, four, five. Uh, that's more than enough to take that one. Five. He can't take that one. He does have one token. He does have one token. And that is worth a lot more points, and points mean more than money at this point in time. So he's going to spend 
one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which means all of his money goes away. So do these tokens here. Now, once again, if he was smart, he should have bought that earlier on, and then he could have removed to to two tokens, but that is another four points for endgame. Uh, so that's it. That took him to the end, and uh, that's it for him. He's in the end of day. Blue can use wine. Yeah, he wants you to do wine. And he's at, oh, he's going to take a penalty? Yeah, he'll do a penalty this time, and because that one's open, he's going to land here. If white was smart, he should have locked that out because he wants those arrow, those uh, favor tokens because he has one for here, one for here, and one for here. And he's going over the limit, so he's going to take a negative two penalty. Oh, I realize, yeah, he has two penalty, not a three penalty. Put him back up. Identical cards. He has the money. He's going to play them both because he wants them both. Oh, no. He can't play that one. Oh, no. Because he can't attach that one. These are the same bottle. So, yeah, he's going to attach him there. And he's not going to do that. So, unfortunately, he's going to trade that guy in. Put that one back. Grab a five. All right. So, this is his last turn. He took another two penalty. It wasn't really worth it. Actually, it was real worth it. Five, six, seven. Um, these are to slide down, which means this is now down. So it puts one here, spends five. These go up here. This is his, which is a smart play. The problem was he didn't think ahead because he, his four, the other three tokens, he only has one here, which means he can only use one token to add to a viewer a cheese. And he's going to do cheese because he has no cheese cards here. So he's going to do a cheese. He's going to put that on there, and it's going to count as a cheese. Well, that's not so bad. Not so bad. I don't, I'm not too worried about that. But he has a lot, a, a big road to come up to. Anyway, the, the black was here. Blue went up. So actually, black should have gone next. Oh, that's my fault. Uh, there's nothing ahead of him except cheese. So he's just going to do a cheese. And uh, two cheese cards. Whoop. Whoop. Oh, identical cheese. That's not a good... No, he can put a cheese here. And he can put a cheese here. And that's going to cost him his last two. And that's it for him. All right, so we are end of day three, which is the end of game. Uh, technically, we would just... Uh, White would do his last action, and then he could p purchase anything. But he's not, so White just goes to the end. And if we were starting at day four, he would go here. Then black would go. And then finally blue. So... Next day would look like this. All right, let's see who uh, where these points go. We'll do start with black. Two cheeses and a pairing. Three, four, five points for there. We're not going to worry about these guys. We'll toss them up. This one, we have three cheeses. So three cheeses gives you five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten points. This is going to be a good one. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine points for this one. So that's 102, so he's past the 100 point. Get a token, put it on top. Actually, we'll put it aside for now because he still has one more. Three, which is four. Um, four at six, that's 10. He goes to 112. Now, I just noticed he does not have the favor token there. So he actually is going to take a penalty. Uh, the only penalty he's gonna have, just one penalty, he's gonna take him down to one. First penalty of uh, for him. So this is going to be the crazy thing. So he's still, he's leading. Let's see. Do I want to go do blue? Let's do, let's do, let's do white. So this is, this is going to be a good play for him. One, two, three, four, maxed out. One, two, three, four, maxed out. That is 20 points. But let's do the penalties first because we have to do penalties first. One, two, three. Unfortunately, that's one, two, three, four, five, six negative points. This, that could be the game for him. But he is going to get... 20 points for just this one card so 93 wow that could uh, that could claim it for him so he's got maxed one two three four five here as well one two three four five that's 10 14 so 103 one two three four oh i think he's got him last one has two that's five points and plus 7 is 12 points. So put him to 17, 19, and yes, white has surpassed. Once again, showing that using 
Um, upgrades is definitely a good idea over just going through mitigation. Now on to blue. Can blue catch up? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Eight, nine, ten. Oh, let's do those penalties once again. Um, he only suffers a negative three penalty because he doesn't have anything here. And that token circ um, circumvents his cheese penalty. So he just takes a three penalty. And let's go first. So eight. And he has two tokens here. So it's two. So he's got ten points. I don't think he's going to do it. Seventy-two. Point is, can he catch up to black? Next one. Uh, also not a great card. Five. Six, seven. Goes him to 79. Next one. This one's pretty good. Two tokens. Oh, I did it again. I did it again. There's another cheese here. There's only one symbol. There's only two of them here. Awful. I did it the second time in a row. Why do I keep doing that? Okay. Okay. So I think this is still maxed out. Yeah. So five, eight, nine, ten, fifteen points. I don't think he's going to be able to do it, but we'll see how the end game goes. So he has one cheese, one wine, so he's got three points, so 13 points. So 104, one, two, three. I think he actually does beat black. So that's it for him on his points. Now we have to tally up the upgrade cards. He has no upgrades. White, I think, is going to be winning this as he has 9, 10, 13 more points from the upgrades. That's going to take him to 29. 1, 2, 3. At 131 points. Can Blue do it? The answer is no. He's at 4, 1, and 4, so he gets 9 more points. That means he is going to circumvent Black, though, which is also the point. So once again, Blue gets in front. And so that is the end of game. We can see here the final point tally. White wins with 131, and blue is 116, and then black is last at 111. So it goes to show you the strategy. Um, you want to get the right upgrades to help you out through your day. Um, and uh, this was definitely a good idea. Maybe he should have stuck with three cards on the last day, and then he could have maximized more points because then that one would have been over here. Um, he still maximizes his there, and um, yeah, there's not much he could have got. The cards choices, maybe he could have done more cheeses, but um, yeah, actually a better call would have actually had them on this side and not taken this one. Because then he could have focused more on cheeses and loaded that up. and Because that's a 16 plus these. That's 26 points from this one card. So, um, turn, like the cheese was definitely a good idea. And getting the extra tastings was good. Bottles are also a big, big deal. Because the bottles allow you to reduce time at these signature wineries. Which is a really good idea. So, once again, he lost uh, the, uh, the last points and he did so because he didn't do bottles and he didn't do upgrades. Question is, can you win with just upgrades? Potentially, can you win with just bottles? I absolutely think so as well. Uh, so, there we go. There is Naramata, uh, a three player game. And if you have any questions, uh, just put them in the comments. And uh, there are some few changes. Like I said, uh, these boards won't look like this, they're game trace boards. And these. Um, uh, tourist cards are actually inverted. The actual final cards have the data in the front because of the way the trays are designed. And uh, there's also a cool tray instead of these bags too. So there you go. Uh, hope you guys enjoy. And if you have any questions, just post in the comments.